Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I am so happy that you are here with me today. This is your weekly reading for September 2nd to the 8th. I will be concentrating on your incoming energies. We'll do some tarot cards, animal spirit card. We're going to tie your reading together with your angel cards and then we're going to get your angel number to complete the reading. There will be multiple messages coming through so please remember that this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. I have already prepared the cards and meditated uh, on them for you today, but I would like to cleanse the space together. So let's do that with the ringing of the bell. So please be mindful that you're gonna hear a loud bell sound now. All right, Sagittarius, for those of you that are new to my channel, I wanna welcome you. I hope you enjoy your reading today. And for those that are returning, I just want to send out a big thank you and uh, tell you how much I appreciate all your love and support. So let's get right into your reading and start with your incoming energies for the week of September 2nd to the 8th. Uh, let's keep in mind that on September 2nd, we are starting the week out with a new moon energy in Virgo. So we do have that new moon happening right at the beginning of the week. Lots of changes see what's happening here. These are your incoming energies. All right, we've got one card there. All right. Okay, we'll get into those in just a moment. Let's start with the bottom of the deck. We're going to go back three. These are your current energies. These are the energies that you are bringing into your this week. All right, so we're going to start three back and we're going to start with the Triumph card. You've got three major Arcana cards, just to let you know that you've got three major energies that um, you are bringing into your weeks, this week's energies as well. So Triumph, this is a Cancerian energy. This is your chariot. All right, so you intuitively know exactly the direction and path. You have been, um, you've been given that ability to to trust in your intuition so that you you do know you know when you are faced with choice when you are faced with di different directions or forks in the road you really feel that strong pull as to which direction it is you need to go this is a card of victory so you really are feeling a lot of victory here a and you are holding your own power you are in your own personal power here with number four authority uh four is uh he is, he is like all four kings in this card. So he is your king of cups, king of swords, king of wands, and king of pentacles. Um, he, he stands tall. He stands strong. Um, he has a lot of integrity. And, uh, and again, you are really feeling empowered. So you are in your own power element at this time. And this is what this empowerment is what's been helping you to really choose this direction. And, uh, and, you know, uh, I think you are going through major transformations in your life. Number 13, uh, a lot of different transformations in many different facets of your life. Maybe not just, um, you know, with one certain portion of your life, but it's just like a multitude of things in your life that you feel are sort of going through this transformational stage. And these transformations are really what are helping you to discover something new about yourself. You are reinventing yourself and, you know, you are really figuring out um, I think you're really figuring out, you know, uh, something more about you in the sense of how you lead, how you take the lead in your life as well. So lots of transformations, positive energy there. Your incoming energies, let's just talk about them, then we're going to get into, into the tarot. Number 20, truth. This is your judgment card. So I think that, you know, this has a lot to do with taking the time out to really review your past. You know, all the things that you've done in your past, what's led you to where you are today is all lessons that we learn. They're stepping stones to helping us create an even more solid foundation as we move forward. Uh, there's parts of your life and chapters of your life that you've, you, you realize are going through major transformations and you are ready to put some closure to, to these certain cycles in your life. And the best way to do that is by, again, doing a compassionate re review of the past uh, and discovering and discovering, um, you know, the things that you want to to help create some sort of a renewal. This is all about a renewal. This is all about a refresh, a restart, a rebirth. So there's a new you emerging from all of this transformation. And I think you are emerging um, in a much more authoritative way. And you are really taking the lead in your life at this time. 
Now you have been going through some obstacles and challenges. And I think that, you know, and what it's been doing is it's been making it hard for you to really feel, um, feel like you can, um, put your, um, intentions out there. Um, I think there's been some, some, you know, along the way there has been things, sort of little bumps in the road and those bumps in the road have made you question whether or not you have been, you know, setting those intentions in, 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 in your highest good. Um, you do have a lot of power uh, and magic within you and because you are so spiritually and, uh, spiritually, um, like you are the seeker of knowledge, you are the seeker of truth, and and because you are so spiritually grounded, I was trying to find the right word, and I apologize. Um, you know your intuit, your intuitiveness, and your understanding, and your wisdom um, brings you more awareness than most. And I think that's something that you've been challenged with. I feel like you're feeling personally that you're challenged with it. It's not necessarily a challenge at all. It's just how you are feeling. And this is why you are reconnecting with certain things from your past and you're allowing those transformations to take place so that you can reconnect with the universe again so that you can start feeling more powerful when you are ready to uh, set those intentions. And again, the best time for manifesting for this week is going to be September 2nd, which is going to be that new moon energy. And then we've got the fourth heart chakra. So your heart chakra is, you know, you give a lot of yourself. You give your, a lot of yourself to, to the people in your life. Um, you know, you have to make sure that when your uh, heart chakra is open, um, you know, you, uh, you can sometimes over, over give to people as well. Make sure that you're getting it back in return as well. But, you know, I think, uh, think, that the reason the heart chakra come, has come in here is because you are emotionally connected to everything that is going on in your life right now, especially since these major transformations are taking place. You are really discovering again and reinventing yourself in a whole new way. And, you know, emotionally, um, you are trying to figure out, you're really trying to figure, your, figure out your place emotionally as well. All right, so let's get right into your tarot cards. Let's find out what these tarot cards are. The two that popped out here was the moon and the devil. So devil energy being toxic energy or, um, and the moon being fear. So fear of feeling trapped, fear of, fear of going in the wrong direction. Sometimes we do have that fear, the fear of making the wrong choice. I think we all have that. So let's see what actually comes out when we do this. Let's see, spirit angels, guides, the messages that you'd like to share with the beautiful sign Sagittarius. Thank you so much. Look at that, you got the magician again. This, you know, you, you are full of infinite possibilities. And I think sometimes you uh, underestimate um, under, under, um, underestimate yourself. Okay. There we go. All right. So we're going to put the cards like this and I'm going to read them. Then we're going to clarify everything here. So let's start with the fact that this magician, which is the awareness card, has come out sec as a, uh, the second time here for you. Um, I think that you are getting to the truth of the matter with, with, uh, and getting a better understanding about who you actually are. Uh, and again, by getting to the truth, you're doing that through the princess of swords, uh, princess of swords, no vidender with any of these cards. Remember, um, this is the princess who holds the truth. She's very inquisitive. She, she's very curious. She wants to know more. She is the seeker of knowledge. She, she, you know, she's really, um, she's really in there and she's really trying to receive messages. She's trying to get the information that she needs. You're trying to seek out the truth here. You know, again, the truth and the truth could be anything. Uh, it's going to relate differently to all of you. Um, but again, you are the seeker of truth and you're finding out, um, you're finding out ways in order to get all of that clarity. And that clarity is what's going to open up your eyes to be able to really see, um, um, see the, the amount of, um, power that you do have, right? Okay. You have a lot of magic that you hold within you. And I think this is why you have such a beautiful glowing heart. Uh, I think that you can see, um, I think you see things through compassionate eyes. Uh, I think that you have a very, uh, empathetic and compassionate heart. And I think that when you do manifest, you manifest for not just your own highest good, but for those uh, of those around you as well. But I think you're just trying to get to the truth of something so that you can start really putting those intentions out there uh, in, uh, in positive ways to really help facilitate a new fresh start. You are looking for a new fresh start and you're looking for ideas and ways in order to be able to facil facilitate all of this. 
you are in an expanding expansion and growing phase of your life right now. The queen of swords is all again, the seeker of truth. Um, she doesn't keep her emotions. We're going to start with the queen of swords here. She doesn't put her emotions into anything because it's all about getting the logic. It's all about getting the information. And right now that's what it is for you. You are the seeker of the spiritual realm. You are the seeker of finding out all of the information that you possibly can, because when you do that, that helps you expand your vision. It helps you expand everything in your life. So right now you are this queen of swords energy, which is air energy. Now your fire sign, but air energy would be your Aquarius, Libra, um, and um, Gemini, sorry that I made a, slowed down that process there for a minute. Um, but yes, you know, again, with this purple all enlightening around you, you know, she wears her crown chakra with um, a lot of pride because uh, her crown chakra is open and meanings you are in this enlightenment phase and that enlightenment phase comes from you really seeking the truth and you are getting to the truth of everything here with this queen of swords so right this week is really going to be you know you really are increasing your awareness about 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 your life about where you truly are at, at this point in your life your life purpose and you are expanding your ship is coming in your ship is now getting ready to come in. You are going through that expansion phase. So the three of wands is really, you know, you are ready for this movement. You're ready. When you see that ship finally starting to peek its way through here, the waters are calm. The sun is starting to rise. The sun is rising. And, you know, with this yellow chakra, the solar plex chakra, you are feeling, feeling um, exuberant energy. You are feeling, um, you're feeling confident and you're feeling uh, really strong self-esteem here. The Queen of Swords is also very confident, uh, a confident queen. Uh, and, you know, again, um, emotions aren't what are important right now. What's important is the information and the clarity that you're getting because that's what's going to help release this obstacle. This, the, what you feel is an obstacle in your life, and it could be just your feeling of what this obstacle is, is, uh, is the truth and clarity behind it all. And that's what's going to help you to start finally feeling this comfort level to be able to expand. And you are expanding in beautiful ways because you've got this uh, Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is that whole inspiration. Um, something is, something um, is igniting some sort of passion in you, and it's an offering of some sort. It is, it is like the invitation of something new that is going to inspire inspire you to to start something new you are ready for a new fresh start in your life and this ace of wands is just another indication that you are moving forward and with this ace of wands it's going to increase your base chakra so again it's going to increase your stability your foundation your sense of security you're not going to feel um, you know, you're not going to feel uh, the fear of the unknown with the ace of wands. It's that beginning of something that is um, really going to build. Like if you can see this tower behind you, this is a very strong tower. You're building a very strong foundation with this opportunity that is coming um, its way, that it's going to be presenting itself to you. And it comes because you are starting to really see the deeper levels. You're, you're seeing all the deeper layers of not only everything in your life, but the deeper layers to yourself as well. And uh, that heart chakra, you uh, how can your heart not feel full of joy and uh, fulfillment uh, when you start to see that the opportunities that you have really been um, seeking out for a while are really actually starting to present themselves. All right, so Sagittarius, let's get some clarifying cards here. We're going to start with the Princess of Swords and the Magician. Let's find out a clarifying card for that, please. If we can just get one card there, see what happens. Thank you. Oh my gosh, and you got the Magician again. You got the Magician three times in your reading. I think you need to be very mindful of the fact that you are in your own magical element right now. And everything is very, uh, there's so many infinite possibilities for you. So do not underestimate your your gift. You have a gift right now and, and don't underestimate it. And you know what? Shoot for the stars. It's very important to do that. Um, I think that there's a lot of truth coming out. You This week is going to be that, that, that moment, that pivotal moment where you're like, ah, it's like it all comes together and it's it all starts to make sense. And even stuff from your past starts to creep up and you're like, you know what? Now I understand. Now I have a full understanding why that happened. And now I am going to feel free when I am setting out my intentions because I know that I, that I, am, I am presenting to the universe um, exactly the truth as to what it is that I, that, that I want out of my life. All right, so let's get, a, um, let's get a clarifier for the Three of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Very interesting. All this magical power inside of you. 
and the Queen of Cups. This is your intuition. I truly believe that this is your energy. Queens, of course, are leaders of their own, um, but they do it in a more feminine way, or more of a feminine energy. That's a better way to say it, because there's no, of course, no gender with any of these cards. Um, this queen is very loyal, very trustworthy, trustworthy, and very honest, and she is extremely intuitive. So uh, not only are you enlightened here with the Queen of Swords energy, um, you know, uh, with your crown chakra being open, but you know, this is your third eye chakra. You know, this is your intuition being open as well. You've got a lot of chakras open in your reading here. You've got, uh, I truly believe that you have your crown chakra open, your heart chakra, and your third eye, sixth chakra open. Um, you know, the, uh, the, the queen of cups, she is again, very compassionate, very caring. You've got beautiful two sides to your personality here, where we're, where, uh, one where you're very inquisitive and you want to get all the knowledge and seek all that knowledge, but you also have that compassionate side to you where, you know, you really are in touch with your intuition and you listen as that guidance. That's, it's, it's not only the seeker of the truth that gets you the information that you need, but it's also following your intuition. And this is what's gonna help you expand. And then you're no longer going to feel obstacles. Let's get a um, card for the Ace of Wands. Beautiful energy opportunities are definitely coming in for you that are going to give you a sense of emotional fulfillment. Wow, we've got the tower. So there's going to be a sudden change here. Something is changing. Let's get another card for the, uh, the tower. There's a sudden change. Why is this sudden change here? Finding the tower coming up in a lot of people's readings uh, for the first week. Sudden change, okay. Ah, okay, so the reason why there's a sudden change is because you have been juggling so many things in your life. Look at this, you've been juggling and it's been causing a little bit of turbulence. That is what those obstacles and um, challenges are. It's the fact that you've been juggling. So maybe you're juggling two jobs, maybe you're juggling your finances, you're juggling bills, you're juggling, um, 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 you know, again, maybe you have two jobs. Maybe you are trying to, uh, maybe you're juggling your family, your relationship, your job, everything all together. And that can become a little overwhelming. And that's, you know, something suddenly has to change. We can't keep having all this juggling going on. Um, you know, your ship wants to come in, but it's, it, it's, it, it's hard to come in when the turbulent, when the waters are turbulent. We have to get those, those waters clear and we have to get those waters calm and when they are and that sun starts to of course rise from behind um, you know you're no longer going to feel like you are juggling all of this energy uh, there is a rainbow here which means there is a light at the end of the tunnel and that there is going to be joy and there is going to be hope and you know it's interesting because with this ace of wands it's like there's an opportunity that I think is going to help you release this juggling energy and that comes with a sudden change and that sudden change is what is actually going to facilitate um, a, a much more a balance in your life. This is going to require, this, is, this change that is happening is going to actually bring you balance. So again, if some of you have really felt like you've been take, pay, paying Peter, taking from Peter to pay Paul, um, you know, uh, that's a saying, of course, you know, we're trying to, to cover one bill, but by, by using it with another bill. And, you know, uh, if that's how you've been feeling, your life has been going, it's just been one big juggle game and you don't feel like you're getting ahead. That energy is coming to a close. That is a sudden change. These are all the transformations, you know, that are taking place in your life. And there is a new opportunity that's going to offer you a sense of freedom. All right. This is absolutely beautiful. So let's get your spirit and uh, your animal spirit card. Okay, so let's find out what that is. And you got the coyote. So the revealer of truth. So don't take things too seriously. Sometimes we can't, you know. Uh, make time for play. So in the midst of all of this serious energy, you need to make time for play. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. So look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. And I think that that's what you've been doing with the, this uh, truth card, you know, the judgment card, the seeker of truth. You are revealing the truth. You've got the queen of swords energy as well. You know, this magician energy with the, the magician coming up three times in your reading, you are seeking the truth and, and you do have great wisdom within you. Um, and, and I think that a lot of truth is going to be revealed uh, during the course of this week. All right, so now let's get your angel messages. So these are the messages from your angels. Let's find out what they are. To so tie the reading together. So spirit, 
angel guides. If we could get three or four cards, messages for the beautiful sign Sagittarius, please. And thank you. Thank you. And one more. There we go. All right. So the first card you got was the King of Raphael. All right. And yes, it is safe to trust. All right. The ability to accomplish many things at once. And that's why you juggle so many things. You're always trying to accomplish so many things at once. Follow your creative passions. And that Ace of Wands is about your creative passions as well. You need to follow them. Don't put them on the back burner. Take action. They're going to help increase your stability and your foundation. And then you've got the Four of Raphael as well. And that is the seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. You've got the magic in your life all around you. Be aware of your own emotions. Okay, so just be aware of them. Keep them in check. And then you got this beautiful, beautiful, most abundant queen in all of the tarot deck. And that's the Empress. So time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. So look at that, you know, creativity will be rewarded. And that's with that Ace of Wands as well. You are no longer going to feel like you're juggling everything because there's something, there's something that's being presented to you that's going to release you from that. This change is a welcome change that's coming for you. All right, so much more luxurious and abundant resources are on their way for you, Sagittarius. All right, to close out your reading, let's get your angel number. Now, you must, must keep in mind aces number one it is an extremely powerful number for you uh, as we move through the first week of september all right so aces are very very uh, positive affirmations that your that your angels are sending you messages and you got number four. Oh, i love it this is beautiful you know you got quite a few fours too like you got four for authority here you got the four with the chakra and you know what fours are fours are all about your stability you also got the four of raphael so aces and fours a solid foundation with every step you take you are strengthening the roots of your foundation and your unwavering beliefs are propelling you towards boundless success your angels encourage you to stay centered and grounded with steadfast devotion and persistence, you will bring your long-term aspirations to fruition. You see, that's how you are going to be rewarded. Your creativity is going to be rewarded. And luxurious and abundant resources are coming because you are preparing your life with a new solid foundation. Beautiful energy, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you found some meaning in the messages. Please leave comments. Like and share and until next time, sending you love, light and positive vibes.